Hey what's up YouTube, this is Nathan from GroupSkill bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to round off the edges of your text and make it look bubbly. This is going to be two different things that we can do and they can both work together. So the scene that I have right now, all we have is a plane uh, up top kind of in front of the text and then we also have the plane in the back that, um, or not in the back but straight on that gives us our highlight. And as you can see, the camera is a little bit at the bottom of the text and shoots up at it. And it gives us this really nice, clean look to it. And we're going to make it look a little different. So once you go into your mode text, in the uh, caps, you can change the start and end cap, both the fill cap. And as you can see, it gives it this kind of hard edge. But we're going for like a bubbly text for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is drop the radius down to 2. And the steps up to 10. Usually, I mean, you can put the steps also at 5, um, but I just personally just put it at 10 just to make sure it's clean. So, as you can see, that's already making it a lot nicer. We have the highlights on the text also instead of just the front. And the second thing we're going to do is go into the array tab and get the connect object. Now, if you drag your text right into the connect um, and then render it, you're going to see that it kind of like deforms your text. As you can see, it's got like this wavy thing going on. So if we drop the steps down um, to one, I'm just going to mess with the front because you're not seeing the back at all. If you drop it down to one, that's going to make it really, really messy. But if you put it up to like 25, that's going to make it a lot more clean. As you can see, it still almost looks like a straight line, but not quite. When it works with text such as the R, it kind of messes up a little bit. As you can see right here how it just kind of cuts but um that's just because of the shape of the um, letter itself that has nothing to do with your connect object but when you bring on your anti-aliasing and bring that up to uh, best or even higher it will definitely make your highlights look a lot cleaner and better during the render but just because this is a tutorial and it takes a lot longer to render we just keep it on geometry for now but that is looking really really nice and that is the second thing that we're talking about in this tutorial if you want to see any tutorials different that involve cinema 4d after effects um anything like that any of these programs down here feel free to ask if you want to see more gaming content post uh, about gaming if you want to see more music which will be up soon because a lot of our music producers were um making music um obviously but they were making music for personal use and now they're going to be letting us use more of their music soon so we're going to be getting more music onto the channel and um if you haven't already noticed we do make free intros um you get if you want one intro <clears throat> sorry one intro it's free but if you want two then that's going to cost five dollars three ten and so on if you have any questions about that just feel free to ask us if you want logos and um, backgrounds then we can talk about if that's going to cost anything or um, if it's going to be free possibly if we once we get more graphic designers we will definitely um, be making a lot of free stuff for you guys because right now I'm the only one and I run the channel so running the channel be having to upload all the videos and making tutorials um, while being on vacation right now it's a little difficult but um, once school is out and summer is free, then I will definitely be making a bunch of tutorials for you guys and uploading videos a lot more commonly. Instead of Monday and Thursday, I will try to be able to get some up probably three, four times a week, if not every day. So this has been Nathan from Group Skill bringing you our Cinema 4D tutorial, and I'll see you guys later.